That's, remove, that's, yeah. remove all of the body hair. Okay. Exactly. You lose, right. you lose a quarter pound. If you want to make weight, yeah. shave off all your hair. That's a quarter pound right yeah. there. I've been taking NyQuil the last couple of weeks since I've been sick. And I'm finding a. that like it, it <laughs> oh, does. Sick. Okay, all right. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> oh, sure. I guess it does help to fall asleep. <laughs> I think, but then like I wake up and I feel groggy as shit. Yeah, I don't like, like dude, a fucking train wreck. Dude. I can't, it's awful. I cannot take NyQuil. It makes me have dreams when I'm awake. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Yeah, it's it's bad. Wait, describe that. I I remember what like last time I took it. I think I was in like high school. They call that hallucination. Yes, it's I kind think. of so. It's 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 less like seeing things and more you're not clear where you are in time. You're you're, dis- <laughs> are you okay? you're disoriented is what you're saying. Yeah. So okay. like, are you I sure you weren't up- doing like weird research chemicals before they got <laughs> scheduled or something? Maybe they just got put on a shelf with a Nyquil badge. Yeah. I don't know. But like, I I woke up and couldn't tell if I was was awake or if I had even gone to sleep or if this was a dream or if i had had a dream it was v- very confusing it's not that terrible. bad for and me not but fun it yeah, was just more yeah. like i'm confused and who is what i'm yeah <laughs> i definitely wake up out of it uh nyquil yeah yeah for sure like i wake up feeling like i i slept but at a at what cost yeah at yeah like cost? at a, like 50 percent <laughs> effect yeah, you, you have to you have to realize that all sleep is not created equal there is such a thing as bad sleep. Well, like drunk sleep is bad, and then yeah, this like Nyquil sick sleep has been terrible. But if you don't take it, you're gonna wake up coughing and shit like every couple hours, mm-hmm. and that's bad sleep. So you go in for Nyquil, you're making a deal with the devil. Yeah, it's rough. I've been feeling sluggish the last couple weeks. What, what's yeah. the active ingredient in? Like, See, what is it about Nyquil that? Is it the same stuff that's in like Benadryl? It's is it the, uh, I don't. I don't know. I think it. What do they call that? Hist. Uh, Ben's. Uh, it's not DXM. Hmm. So you can't. I think it does start with cook a, it down or whatever. Is that dex dextromorph? Dextromorph. Morph- it's a big oh, word, man. Uh, DXM is the stuff that is in Robitussin that mm. people people th- that had people abusing Robitussin. Yes, right. Could you you can't like cook that down or anything, can you? Can you? Yeah. <laughs> Into what? Like a powdery. Don't don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Crystal Robitussin. Uh, yeah. A, a friend of mine. Uh did in fact do that was that experimental or is that like a time-honored street tradition because i've never heard of this uh, Pink rock no i mean people had, uh yeah i mean hey he read about it on the internet okay, like all okay. good fucking soft drug right. stories he was not blazing a trail in, in no no he's he, he robitussin took, misuse took rudimentary chemical ge- chemistry classes okay. and then used that to fucking cook down did he was he boning up on his titration something like that i don't know what's the street name uh, they will call it robo. You could go robo tripping. <laughs> wow, really? Uh, but the thing is, so that's the, they put, you know, Robitussin. If you drink a whole bottle of Robitussin, you will throw up. Also, don't fucking do that. <laughs> no, that sounds terrible. I, I've literally, like, I, I can't, I can't speak from experience. I've never done this. I've, I, it sounds like a fucking terrible idea. Um, but yeah, there's, there is a substance in certain f- blends of Robitussin that, you know, if you take in enough quantity will have a light effect on you. That is sometimes that some people seem to desire <laughs> to, at a point where they take the bad with the good and just drink whole things of Robitussin, which Jesus. don't fucking do that. Oh, that just sounds horrible. Why would the fu- why would you fucking do that? There, Seriously, there are message boards all over with these like you know back ass ways of getting high. Like I had a friend in college that I remember he, we were at the grocery store and he bought a shitload of Hall's cough drops. Okay, smashed them with a hammer in my dorm room. Yeah, and like put them in a bowl and tried to like light the bottom and inhale the fumes or something. And then he was How'd surprised. that work out for him? Didn't work out Did at all. Did he get lightheaded? Uh, I don't think anything happened. Okay. So the next day, he read that if you eat a whole container of nutmeg, you'll get real high. So he went to the grocery store again and bought a... Bi- and this is always just yeah, funny yeah, for me to watch. Totally, I was yeah. never... A- Did, he get, like, at that- Did he get to a point where he was smoking banana peels? At this I feel point, like that's, he probably that's is. the next step in the nutmeg <laughs> thing. Like, once you've bought into the nutmeg myth, uh, you, you find yourself like, well, we need to dry these banana peels just right. <laughs> When I was in elementary school, we took grapes and hid them out on the playground, thinking that they would ferment. <laughs> <laughs> Just like whole grapes? Yeah. We smashed them up so the juice was there, and oh, we left wow. it out in a place where it would get some sun, thinking that this would advance the, the fermentation. <laughs> wow. And then like three months later, we went back and tried to drink it, and don't do that! <laughs> we didn't get 
get drunk, we got fucking sick. Oh man. <laughs> we also found a can of chewing tobacco in the in the field, and then I thought, well, I'll try it and oh. then just put it in my mouth, chewed it up, and swallow ah! it. Don't fucking do that. Ah. Oh, you just sand lotted yourself. Man. I, how would I know how to fucking yeah. chew tobacco? I was fucking <laughs> n- eleven. <laughs> Oh, this whole podcast is just one long cautionary tale today. Oh, do people still chew? Like, do you, do you guys know anyone that chews tobacco on a regular basis? Uh, I feel like when I was a I kid, know. I saw.